hello there dear friends welcome to the channel and thank you for watching in this video we are going to talk about Jorginho Frelo do you think that Jorginho has a future at Chelsea Football Club given the fact that Chelsea just purchased great players and are going to do even more businesses in the future that could see Jorginho playing time reduce significantly so do you really see Jorginho next season at Chelsea Football Club or he will be on the bench often I'm gonna ask you to take your agenda and sentiment away before you answer to these questions because let's be honest this is about Chelsea Football Club and not about Jorginho FC so fanboys cultist or whoever you are try just to think about the club and not an individual let me remind you who is going to be in that midfield potentially next season okay Mason Mount Kai Harvard Kova I'm gonna take N'Golo Kante out of this on purpose because every time you try to talk about Jorginho people are going to bring N'Golo Kante in the discussion they always try to call him all kind of names he's old injury prone he can't hold the ball he can't pass the ball blah 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 just to make a point just to defend Jorginho why can't people just talk about their idol without touching other players so I'm gonna take N'Golo Kante on purpose out of this discussion so you can see things from a different perspective let's say N'Golo Kante is gone he's not going to play for next season okay so we still can have rice okay we have Ampadu in that midfield <laughs> do you understand we have also Hakim Ziyech who can play also in the midfield we have Ruben who is very good in the midfield we all know that uh, Ross Barkley is leaving the club, so we're not going to put him on the list. But we can also add Reese James, who can play also in the midfield. The young Bill Gilmo, who is going to be back in a couple months from injury. And we can also add Lewis Bate from the academy and Tino Angerin. So guys, let's not kid ourselves. Chelsea have one of the best midfields in Europe yeah i said it you can check barcelona real madrid or bayern munich man nobody even comes closer when that midfield is going to gel together so if Jorginho has to stay at chelsea football club who do you think need to be benched in order for Jorginho to play what is special about Jorginho that other players don't have for me I love Jorginho. I have three shirts with Jorginho name at the back. So nobody can come here and tell me that I hate Jorginho. But the end of the day is about Chelsea Football Club. It's not about Jorginho FC. So I love the guy, but I don't think he fit the system. He doesn't fit what we are trying to do right now at the Chelsea Football Club. High energy pace power physicality intelligence progressive football and you can't get that from Jorginho don't get me wrong Jorginho is still a very good player in a set system for example Sari ball or in a different league a slower league where you have a lot of time on the ball because we've seen in the Premier League when you put a man on Jorginho he's out of the game Jorginho also commit a lot of fouls because he doesn't have the pace and physicality to deal with players in the Premier League last season alone he got 10 yellow card and he was suspended for three games I heard in the Premier League history for a midfielder that tells you everything you want to know about Jorginho Frelo like I said don't get me wrong Jorginho is my boy but I don't think he's going to make it in the Chelsea team and it's gonna hurt me to see him 
sitting on the bench. Jorginho can still help if we can't get rid of him. For example, when we are winning the game, we can put Jorginho in for the last 15 minutes so he can slow the game down, control the tempo, frustrate the opposition and see the game out. But I don't think that is what Frank Lampard want. Frank Lampard wanna go for the Dracula. He wanna go for the killing immediately. He wanna somebody who can be like Fabregas, put those balls in the dangerous areas and let's see what can happen. He doesn't want somebody who will play backwards, sideways, backwards, sideways all the time. I know I will be in hot water from fanboys who refuse fact, who refuse the truth, and who don't have anything really to defend beside attacking, insulting. But take a minute and think about Chelsea Football Club for a moment and tell me what Jorginho brings to the team that other players are not able to bring. And from there, we can have an honest discussion. Certain people are going to tell you, oh, he was world class under Mauricio Sarri. Well, it's the same situation as Kepa Arisa Balaga. Nothing special under Sarri, but they just got found out. They were average since Mauricio Sarri, but at the time, nobody knew how to deal with them. Now they are exposed and targeted. Nowhere to hide. It's just simple ABC common sense. But certain people are going to refuse to admit it because of their agendas and egos. But the truth is, it's not gonna change anything and Frank Lampard is going to make the decision for the team and not to protect Jorginho or any player in the team.